Hello everyone, my name's Mike Sherry, and I have a treat for you today. A really nice, luxurious motorhome. So let's jump into this. This is a brand new Forest River Georgetown. This is a 2020 model year, but this is what I would call the second half of 2020. So this is the 2020 and a half, so it has all the new stuff on it. Also, the big option on this is going to be the full body paint, as you can see here. Typically, this comes with a colored fiberglass in this uh, model of the 36B5. We have optioned this out with the midnight full body paint, which really sets us off. You know, there's a lot of benefits other than appearance to full body paint. And one is your motorhome is going to stay cleaner and look a lot richer for years and years to come, which affects a lot of things, including resale value when you go to upgrade or, or just sell outright. So pardon the snow, it's a little snowy day here in Ohio, but the sales are really hot. We've sold quite a few RVs just yet today. So if you're looking to buy an RV, by all means, give us an opportunity. Uh, let's jump right into this. So for Stripper Georgetown, this is the GT5 series, which is their midline series. They have a GT3 and a GT7. GT5 is gonna be a midline. Big difference is you, you don't get the, the, the stamp baggage doors on the exterior. You still get the one-piece windshield, still get, get the really nice front end cap. That's a cap front end. You notice it goes all the way up to the roof line there over about a foot and that connects with the fiberglass roof very nicely. Three side outs on this, two on this side here as you can see. We've got several storage compartments. One thing new for the 20, 20 and a half is they've increased this outside storage compartment space by about 25%. Notice this one goes all the way through to the other side, and that's a big uh, space there, probably about a foot. A lot of companies offer that pass-through storage, but it's so skinny you can't actually get anything but maybe a fishing pole in that, in that pass-through part. But this, you can fit something nice, big, and long through that pass-through. I like how these doors just slam shut really nice. Another pass-through storage here. This here is going to be your generator. This is equipped with a Cummins Onan 5,500 kilowatt generator. Now this generator is gasoline powered, so this will work off the same fuel as the engine, same fuel tank as well. Here's your water hookup compartment and dump compartment, all nicely contained here. Also notice it's fully insulated and heated as well, so you can camp in this in cooler weather, no problem. This is a big part of the extra storage, this compartment here. Notice how deep it is. Again, goes all the way through to the other side. Just a little storage compartment here in your rear dump. This motorhome does have the rear cap on the back. Get my camera situated here. Full rear cap on the back with a ladder, backup camera. This has color backup camera and color side cameras does come from the factory with a hitch. It's a 5,000 pound rated hitch and a 500 pound tongue weight there. Also comes from the factory with your seven pin. So if you're looking to pull something, a trailer, a vehicle, you can easily do that. One slide on this side, again, really artistic work on the full body paint. Good storage all the way through. I'll just show you a couple of them because I showed you quite a few of them on the other side. They're all lighted as well. Notice these LED lights down here. Then this last one I did want to show you, this is your battery compartment. It comes from the factory with two batteries. Three step entry to get in. Those are power steps. Also on this chassis, this chassis is the big chassis provided by Ford, which is going to come with your uh, 22 and a half inch wheels. So it's going to provide a really nice stable ride. Chassis is upfitted by More Ride, which is the top upfitter in the industry. And again, it's a 36B5 model number. This particular one is equipped with the outside really big television. That's bigger than uh, what we typically see in outside televisions. All right, let's get inside because it's snowing. So I'm standing in the cockpit area looking back now. We have our kitchen off to the left here. And then in the slide room, we have our dinette booth table, which that's new for this year. See how it wraps around the back? That allows you to be able to sit there 
a little bit more comfortably if you have guests maybe sitting there watching TV. So it's a little bit bigger booth dinette. It wraps around the back. Of course, it still comes down for sleeping. You can actually see the extra cushion there that completes that, that bed when you do do that. This does have the optioned uh, theater seats here. Uh, these seats are going to recline. You notice the beverage holders there. There is seat belts in them as well, uh, but they recline powerly open and close they're, they're a light there and they massage and heat so once you sit down in that it's going to be hard to get up both front captain's chairs do flip around for extra seating area when you're at your campsite which is you know one of the benefits of a class a motorhome notice there's no step up into the in the cab in the driving compartment either and the flooring is a hundred percent linoleum in, in this camper there's there's not an ounce of carpet in here, so very easy to clean. This particular unit is equipped with the power bunk above here. So this bunk is power. It's gonna sleep one person comfortably. Uh, you can see the tracks here where it comes down. It's gonna come down just to about right here above the, the power seats there, so. Does have a power front sunshade along here. Again, one piece windshield. A lot of people tell me they're intimidated by driving something this big. But between the windshield, which you just have really a demanding view, and then along with that and the backup camera that's color and both side cameras. So what happens is when you flick your turn signal on this 10 inch monitor, which is new for the 2020 and a half, you're going to be able to see what's right beside you in color on a 10 and it's like 10.1 inch screen here that's going to show you directly what's right beside you in that blind spot. Controls here are going to be similar controls to most Ford vehicles. You have your cruise control here on the steering wheel, uh, shifter control off to the right, turn signal off to the left, hazard in the center. Your dash cluster here has your temperature gauge for your oil your fuel gauge, your RPM gauge, your speedometer, which is important, you don't want to get caught speeding, uh, your transmission uh, uh, temperature and your fluid, your antifreeze temperature there. Off to the left here, we have uh, your heated mirror controls in the bottom right corner. Those mirrors you can control right there and they are heated. So if you're out on a day like today where it's a little chilly, you're gonna be able to uh, get them from frosting up. You have your battery boost to jump the engine here, LED lights on the front and fog lights as well, and your normal lighting controls. You have a beverage beverage holder here. And then off here to the left, we have our LCI electronic leveling system. This is an automatic leveling system. Turn it on, press auto, and just wait. And this camper will level yourself once you get to your campsite. In the passenger compartment, uh, really nice upgraded seats in the Georgetowns, very comfortable, nice lumbar support. Uh, and again, they do swivel. You have heating and air controls, ducts right here. You have your beverage uh, holder there. And then you have this workstation here that's going to come up and act as a nice work table for you. Also have plenty of power here, both USB and old school cigarette lighter there. And then down below here, if you do have your generator running, we're going to have a, a normal power outlet. Notice on the floor where you put your shoes, there's a nice uh, diamond plate mat there um, to protect the floor. Okay. Get into the kitchen here. The kitchen in this is absolutely beautiful. Have a giant TV in it with a good view from the booth dinette, from both of the seats in the theater seats, and one of the seats up front there in the cockpit. So really got a lot of visible use there. Uh, the countertop here is a really awesome solid surface rock type countertop with this really big extension there. That's heavy, that's a nice thick countertop, which I like to see. Also we have the sink covers here with a split sink. It's a split stainless steel sunk down sink. Have this really nice residential faucet and there is a window behind that, that i just have the shade down so it shows up a little bit better on the camera a lot of storage here 
uh, underneath this kitchen countertop here is actually a, a Bluetooth. This is going to be a radio, and also this is a Bluetooth sound bar. So this is going to play from the television. So you're really going to get a nice sound coming off that television. Uh, if you've never had one of those, you're really going to appreciate that. This has got the Precision Plex system in it, which is a multiplex wiring uh, system here. Uh, basically, that is the control for this here which this is your basically your command center in this motorhome. Put your slide out, run, control your temperature, uh, control your lighting, all from this device right here. Stainless steel appliances starts with the microwave, comes down here to your gas oven and range, three burner range with the, the glass cover over it. You actually have real tile backsplash there. Uh, I appreciate that. Every time I heat up pasta sauce, I get it all over the wall in my house and I don't have a backsplash. They have the big oven here. And then here is the biggest RV refrigerator I've ever come across. So we have four doors, top two our freezer space, bottom two our refrigerator space, This is provided by Norcold, which actually Norcold produces RV refrigerators right here in Ohio. Uh, this being an RV refrigerator, you do not, I'll repeat that again, you do not have to run your generator to have that powered up while you're traveling down the road. Some nice artwork on the wall here. Let's come on back towards the back bedroom. Uh, we have two bunk beds in it, which is what sets this floor plan apart from the rest. They have some really big, uh, nice televisions in both bunk beds. Uh, they both are uh, DVD televisions, meaning there's a spot there in the back. I don't think I can get my camera around there good enough, but there's a spot in the back to put a DVD in both of these televisions. And then below here, there is some storage. Uh, there's actually three of these drawers that come all the way out across the bottom here okay we're gonna bypass the half bath or the, the this is actually a two bathroom unit we'll bypass the first bathroom and come back here to the bedroom uh, so the bedroom big 32 inch flat screen television a lot of wardrobe storage on both sides of it notice the hanging rod there uh, have a couple easy to use cabinets here good spot for shoes or folding clothes and then another hanging closet here. And then all underneath there, big drawers. So really cool. And then across from that is going to be your king bed. Yeah, I said king bed. Uh, nice feature to have in this size of motorhome. Windows that open so you can get some cross ventilation there. Also, we have a little bit of a nightstand here, with a little bit of a cubby, good spot for your phone, and USB power on both sides of the bed. That's new for 2020 is those nightstands and that power. All right, coming back here, we have the, the bathroom and the master bath, or the master bedroom. It is uh, a private bathroom. There's this really nice pocket door to separate it off. And this is going to be one of your full bathrooms. Again, two full bathrooms. Has your sink off here. Uh, sunk down sink, which I really appreciate. Uh, a lot of cubbies here for extra towels and things of that sort. This uh, closet here is actually for hanging clothes. But it's actually prepped for a washer-dryer combo. That's what the plumbing is there. So if you want to add the combo, you can add that in this. Because it's already prepped for it. And then the shower back here is a, a really nice one piece. So the shower surround, the tub, everything here is one piece fiberglass. There's a seat there so you can sit down uh, if you need to shave your legs or something like that in the shower. And a really cool, I haven't seen the shape of a, a skylight yet. Really nice skylight. Also, really good lighting in this all together. Really decorative uh, medicine cabinet light there. All right, we'll show you the second bathroom. Uh, this unit is equipped with two air conditioners. Um, has the rounded ceiling here. When I'm standing here, I'll show you. Notice the ceiling's rounded. It's not squared off, so you don't get that boxy feel that you get in a lot of motorhomes. 
All right, this is your second bathroom. This is probably the bathroom the guest will use. Uh, again, same style sink, sunk down stainless steel sink, porcelain stool, it's foot flush, uh, and then a shower in here as well. So stand up shower. Uh, uh, again, all one piece shower tub surround and that really cool skylight that I'm pretty sure is new for this year as well. All right, that completes this walkthrough on this Georgetown. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions, by all means, contact us. I'll put links below that I have our website, and there you can find our phone number and all that jazz from that. Uh, also, I'll put links below for finance options. So uh, I imagine a lot of you are like me and, and don't have this kind of money just laying around to stroke a check for. So you'll you'll want some options on financing and you can get really low payments on something like this. What's cool about this type of motor home is you can write this off on your taxes as a second home to the finance interest that you do pay. So um, trade in. So we'd love to have your trade in if you're looking to upgrade to something like this. First off, congratulations. And second off, give us an opportunity to earn your business uh, on your trade in as well. So thank you very much for watching. Everyone have a great day.